Does Haley Joel Osment have fond memories of seeing dead people? Did starring in Halloween really cause Kyle Richards to sleep with her mom until she was 15? Here's how these child stars feel about the horror movies that put them on the map. Arguably the most famous killer kid in horror movie history, Linda Blair was only 14 years old when she took on the role of the demonically possessed Reagan McNeil in The Exorcist. Look, your daughter doesn't say she's a demon. She says she's the devil himself. The film sparked massive outrage upon release due to its religious overtones, and the press at the time felt it necessary to interrogate a teenage girl about the complexities of Catholicism. In an interview with Dread Central for the film's 40th anniversary, Blair mentioned that as someone who was not raised Catholic, she didn't fully understand any of the religious aspects of the film, nor did the crew talk about it with her before shooting. She said, It was probably the most awful thing you could imagine. To me, The Exorcist was a work of fiction. I didn't realize then that it dealt with anything in reality, and so when the press kept asking me about all the devil stuff, it just kept adding to the pressure I was under, and it was just an awful thing to go through as a teenager. During the press tour for the film, Blair would frequently have to answer deep questions at mass press junkets. She related, I'd be thrust in front of hundreds of people I often couldn't understand who were putting their faith into my hands. It was horrible. It was so controversial, so of course I am at the very pinnacle of all of that. So it all became my fault. Despite it all, Blair is still proud of her work on the film, even parodying herself in the 1990 horror comedy Repossessed. She's also an active participant on the horror convention circuit. Alex Vincent was barely old enough to tie his own shoes when he was cast as Little Andy Barclay in Child's Play, the film that introduced the infamous Chucky doll to the world. We're friends to the end, remember? This is the end, friend. All told, Vincent has played Barclay in four of the franchise's seven films and recently reprised his role in the 2021 TV series. In an interview with Pop Horror before the debut of the series, Vincent spoke highly of the Child's Play universe, noting that he can't really remember a time before he was Andy Barclay. He said, It's fun to go back to this character. It's fun to spend time with these people that I love. It's fun to give back to a fan base that's been so incredibly kind, generous, and supportive of me for as long as I can remember. I mean, literally, as long as I can remember. All of my memories. I was thrilled to know it was going forward. While Vincent loves the convention circuit and meeting fans, he also knows that there are some people that take things a bit too far. He elaborated, Some people are a little too excited by that information and don't realize that it's just a thing I did in my life. Junior, if you see the doll, stay away from him. Long before Kyle Richards became a household name as one of the main cast members on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, she was a child actor known for roles in Little House on the Prairie, The Watcher in the Woods, and most notably, John Carpenter's Halloween. Richards played Lindsay Wallace in the classic horror movie, one of the young kids Jamie Lee Curtis's Laurie Strode babysits on Halloween night, when Michael Myers shows up and enacts his reign of terror. In honor of the film's 35th anniversary back in 2013, Richards spoke with Halloween Daily News to confess that she wasn't afraid while working on the set. <laughs> However, upon seeing the final product, she was absolutely terrified. She confessed, Seeing it for the first time all pieced together was a very, very different movie. It was just really scary, and I really did sleep with my mom until I was 15 years old after that. The film scared her so much that she decided to never work in horror again. That is until Blumhouse came calling and offered her a spot to revisit her character for David Gordon Green's Halloween Kills. Here I am, Lindsay coming to haunt you. Richard's performance was so well received that the crew decided to bring her back for the final piece of the trilogy, Halloween Ends. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, child actor Miko Hughes was inescapable appearing in popular projects like Kindergarten Cop and Apollo 13. He also had a recurring role on Full House. If we gotta dance, we might as well blow the roof off this dump. <laughs> However, for many people, Hughes will always be known as Gage Creed in Pet Cemetery. You were Pet Cemetery? Uh -huh. Who were you in that? Were you that little was, guy that got yeah, hit? Yeah, I was the monster. You were the monster? <laughs> Hughes was barely three years old when he took on the role, becoming one of the most memorable villains in Stephen King's canon. He told Scream magazine, I was just playing pretend. I was practically a baby. Hughes admitted that he isn't usually the biggest fan of watching himself on screen, but due to his young age working on Pet Cemetery, 
It's the one that he remembers working on the least. He said, It's easy for me to disassociate and enjoy the movie for what it is, instead of constantly critiquing myself. Hughes is currently an active guest at horror conventions and considers running into familiar fan faces like reuniting with family. I'm glad to something, Mommy. Canadian actress Jodelle Furland has been in the public eye since she was only four years old, earning enough credits to classify her as a scream queen before she was old enough to legally drink. With credits including Silent Hill, Case 39, and a pile of other deep-cut horror staples, Jodelle Furland is one of horror's most recognizable killer kids. Despite a childhood surrounded by ghosts, possession, evil killers, blood, and monsters, Furland looks back fondly at her upbringing even preferring the experience of working on a horror project than a drama. During an interview with Horror News, Furland noted that horror projects were always the most fun for her because she was given a chance to play characters that were nothing like her in real life. She said, I'm not a demon child. I'm not dead. When I got to play a ghost or an evil character, that was always my favorite thing because that was so different from me. What kid gets to act like that? Not many. Furland is most recognized for her dual role as the young girl Sharon and the monstrous Alessa in Silent Hill, and she doesn't mind it one bit. She said, It was one of the first really big movies that I did that people still enjoy. That makes me really happy. Furland still acts in horror today, having most recently been featured on the Netflix horror drama series The Order. M. Night Shyamalan completely blew audiences away with 1999's The Sixth Sense, the chilling tale of a young boy named Cole with the ability to see ghosts. I see dead people. Few could have anticipated what a massive impact the film would have, turning Haley Joel Osment into one of the youngest people ever nominated for an Academy Award. The film's explosion of popularity helped Osment pick up some other high-caliber roles in films like Pay It Forward and AI Artificial Intelligence. Subsequently, he became one of the most identifiable faces in Hollywood. After taking a break from acting to attend college, Osment returned to the screen and stage, playing a series of villains in Entourage and Yoga Hosers. According to Osment, this may have been an act of belated rebellion against his childhood image, even going so far as to grow a beard to try and hide in public. Looking toward the future, Osment is trying to pivot into screenwriting and directing, but says he doesn't mind when people want to bring up the sixth sense. As he puts it, I'm lucky to have a positive relationship with those periods that can sometimes be difficult for other people. I, I, I don't know, bud. Okay, all right. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more slash film videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.